Today we're going to be talking about electrical safety for your breakout sessions. Now, everyone here on campus is affected by electrical safety, and so it's important to know A, what is electricity and why do we need to be cognizant of it? B, identifying hazards surrounding electrical safety. C, safe work practices, and of course included in that is PPE. So let's get right into it. First thing we're going to talk about here is we're going to talk about what is electricity. A short definition for electricity is the flow, flow of electrons through a conductor. Now we're going to talk about electricity, which is probably one of the most recognized hazards in the workplace. It's definitely one of the most serious ones. Don't fall off a ladder. Don't get electrocuted. I pretty much summarized all safety right there. So um, electricity, though, in particular, exposes employees to electric shock, burns, fires, and get this, explosions. Three milliamps can cause injuries of indirect or secondary injuries in which involuntary muscle reactions from the electric shock can cause bruises. We're talking bone fractures and even death. If you're on a ladder and you get electrocuted, uh, those that current goes through your body, throws you off the ladder, you're dead. So we want to be very careful when we're looking at things like this plug here. This is a very typical thing that we see here on campus. We have a plug in a wall. We have our plug plugged into it. And a lot of times people are trying to pull that cord out. This one's a little more difficult because it's a down facing, but they're trying to pull that cord out and they end up bending the uh, contact. See how that's all bent and wonky? Not good. We do not want a wonky plug. What we want is a straight on plug. So, and, and don't think you can take a tool and straighten these out. These have a point of weakness now. Um, we'll want to get that replaced. So when you see something like this, especially if it's providing room for someone to get in there, you're going to want to um, report it, bring the cable in and have it fixed. Because you can see if something metal contacts that, that could cause a shock, an arc, um, an electric disaster, we could call it, uh, maybe a fire, etc. And it wouldn't be good for you and wouldn't be good for campus. So we want your safety in mind. We want to make sure if we see any gaps around our cord and our um, outlet that we report it and we bring it in, okay? So that is one major issue. The other issue is, see these prongs here? All those prongs are is these three wires connected underneath. And a lot of times what we see is we see these wires starting to come from the bottom here and pull away from the housing. And if it pulls away from the housing, then what we have here is failure to communicate. No, that's a song, sorry. What we have is these uh, wires start to fray, especially in these locations. And if they fray and they contact each other, they can provide, uh, again, electric shock, maybe an arc, uh, because it wants to go to the shortest path of resistance, which is you in most cases. That's why the ground wires, this green wire, this prong here is so important because if there is a shock or anything, it's gonna go to that, this here, instead of you. So if you're missing a ground wire, if you see a ground plug, if you see this uh, loose or coming out, make sure you report it, bring it in, so we try and save your life, right? That is something that is very key and something that we want to address. I put it in straight on. I remove straight on. I put it in straight on. Grabbing around, I remove straight on. Making sure those prongs stay nice and straight. Put it in. And I take it out. Now we want to make sure we stay away from any side pulls or quick pulls. That is why we want to really make sure that we are practicing safe work practices. We are noticing hazards in the workplace. We're reporting our cables. We're reporting our cords. And like I said, it's pretty easy. Here, let me just show you here. Let me see if I can get through this here, which I can because they're not too hard. Some of you guys have nicks in your wires, just like this. It looks easy enough. It uh, looks simple enough. Let's just put some some um, electrical tape over that. So I'm gonna take, and I have seen this by some people here on campus. I'm gonna take this electrical tape and I'm gonna just go. All right, protected myself. No one needs to worry about that anymore. Well, the problem is, is that this is gonna be binding and turning and twisting and all that stuff. A lot of you guys have very twisted cables like this. See how that's all twisted like that? See that? All that's doing in there is just those those uh, wires are just rubbing back and forth every time you turn it and twist it. And, and this part here, even though it has electrical tape on it, it makes sounds like it should make you feel good. That wire is still exposed and should be uh, taken care Here's of. Here's some things you want to do if you're working around electricity. You want to make sure that you are working in a safe manner. And if you're working on stuff, make sure it's de-energized. If you're working on a vacuum, you have a switch on that vacuum. Let's go back to the switch. Make sure you turn the switch off before unplugging, okay? We want to make sure we have no power on before making the circuit. 
that is safe for you because what if there's something frayed up in this part here? Let's say that there was, I wanna make sure that it's off so when I plug it in, I don't have anything there. I have the point of power is my main, my main power source there, so that's that. And lockout take out, which we've discussed before, is something that's very important when you're working on electrical equipment. So um, that should do it for a little uh, breakout session on electricity. Make sure you report hazardous uh, plugs, especially ones with no grounds. If you don't have a ground wire, uh, ground plug, that's something you really want to address. We want to make sure that all of our cords have these ground plugs because it's better it than you. If you have any fraying, make sure you report that because once again, it's better it than you. If you have any rips in your cords, don't tape it, report it, it's better it than you. If you have any burns around your outlets, what are we saying here, folks? It's better it than you. We can come in, we can de-energize, we can replace this, we can make sure that it's in safe and working uh, order. Especially look for burning around the ground plug here where you can see maybe there has been a short before. Uh, we wanna make sure that that is fully intact so that we can continue to be safe. So um, that does it for today's breakout session. Good night and good luck.